Hi, we're Team Gym Trainer. Uh, my name is Noah Garf. I'm graduating with a BS in computer science, and I'm interested in database management and front-end design. And uh, my favorite programming language is Python. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Christian Ewing. I'm graduating with a bachelor's degree in computer science. I'm interested in system-level programming and web development. And my favorite programming language is probably C Sharp. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Luis Berubin. I am graduating with a bachelor's in software development. Uh, I love the whole full stack development, so I'm looking forward to working that in my career. Favorite language so far has been Python as well. I'm Aiden Barry. I'm graduating with a bachelor's in computer science. I'm interested in AI and machine learning, and my favorite language for that is Python. So Gym Trainer is a platform for fitness trainers and their clients to work together from anywhere in the world. Um, it lets trainers of any background start their business and help manage their growth as they bring on more clients, as well as giving detailed planning and progress information to each individual client. So the problem that we wanted to solve is that trainers are often managing clients with many different resources and tools and manually tracking client information through a bunch of these different uh, websites and apps. Um, so Gym Trainer gives these trainers and clients a single effective platform where all of their information is. Um, our functionality. So our functionality is split into two different pieces, the client side and the trainer side. On the client side, we have the trainer check-in for daily use between a trainer and the client uh, to check in with each other. We have fitness and nutrition planning custom to each client, um, client's progress information, and macro tracking for each client. All right. For the trainer side, we have a macro calculator for the client's um, we have an add and remove client. So each trainer will actually be able to add and remove their own clients. Um, each trainer will also be able to manage each of their clients' nutrition plans and fitness plans. So they'll be able to edit their workout plans and their um, their nutrition. And then um, they'll be able to access um, client information slash progress. So they'll be able to view their client's progress and then set goals for their clients. Um, with the system design, uh, we kept it pretty simple. For the front end, we're using Vue.js to do a little bit of dynamic um, dynamic um, work. And then we uh, have Tailwind for the styling. Um, for the back end, we're using Django for the web framework. And then we're hosting on AWS. And this is our presentation. Uh, I'll go over there now to Louise to start the uh, demo. Hey guys, so as Christian said, we have deployed to AWS. So here is our website application. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log in as a trainer. You'll be able to see the full functionality that they just explained. Uh, once I log in as a trainer, you're able to view your clients. This is one of the things that we wanted to make easy for trainers to be able to access each and every one of their clients without having to have the headache of how to manage it. So as you can see here, these are all the different clients that this particular trainer has. And if we go and view into a client, for example, Aided, and we'll click on edit, and this will bring you to the client dashboard. On the client dashboard, there's many options for you to manage this client. You'll have a workout plan, meal plan, macro calculator, and check-ins. We'll start with the workout plan. You'll be able to go in here and see all the exercise that this client has been assigned. So throughout the week, these are the different exercises. You're able to delete, add, um, as you can see, they're very specific. You can add descriptions, weight amounts. Uh, I'll do a little demonstration of how this works. This particular client, we're going to make them do some squats. We're going to do 125 pounds for 10 reps. And we're going to make them do it on Monday. Lift heavy. Stay strong. We add this exercise. And as you can see, it's been added. For whatever reason, something happened and the client is struggling to stay, we can go in and delete it. So it's fully customized to your client. Everyone's different. So we wanted to make sure that this functionality is built to help you manage your clients. Um, and you can do that by getting the feedback when you do check-ins. The next one we'll go into is meal plans. So here, this particular client has been set up for chicken, rice, and celery that day. Let's say the feedback is he doesn't like celery and we want to make sure that these fit their macros. So we're going to go ahead and delete this food. We're going to add a new item 
and we're just going to say, you know, we're going to add some broccoli, get you leaner. We're going to do mm, maybe 12 heads, and we're going to say Monday. We're gonna add, now we got broccoli added on there. So again, this is all fully customized. Right now, this particular client is super lean, so we gave him a bunch of cheat days, but you can go in there and edit every single one of them. We'll go back to the client dashboard. And what we want to make sure is that when we get a client that we calculate their macros accordingly. So based on their gender, on their activity level and their weight, um, you'll fill in these fields and we will calculate the macros for that client. Right now, as you fill it out and you put this field in there, say he's 34, we're going to lose weight. Once that's calculated, that's going to be sent over to the client. This is for your check-in. So when you have met them for the first time, you're able to go through all this and get this set up. It provides an easy access, especially for that first day that you're sitting down with them to get this all these instructions in to make it for a successful you know, uh, relationship. And that's what we wanted to do. So what we'll do back now is we'll go back to the trainer dashboard. Sorry, we'll go back to edit. And after that, say a couple of weeks go by, you wanna make sure that the plan that you've created has been working. As you can see here, this client has checked in four different times and every single time he has lost weight. Uh, if you look at the most recent one, you see that his weight kind of stayed the same. So what you'll do is you wanna make sure that this weight is being added to your macros. Once you go in here, you'll be able to add that weight, make that adjustment, and then you'll be able to develop those new macros for that client. So this is all pretty much what you wanted to do. We wanted to get rid of all these different files. We wanted to make sure that we weren't using Excel sheets and different platforms to be able to manage their clients. And I think, you know, from the perspective of being able to manage that and do that, it's a pretty good job. I'm going to turn it over now to uh, Aiden because he's going to walk us through what the client shares, sees, sorry. Yeah, so here we are over on the client side. And a lot of what you're going to see is basically a mirror of what the trainer has set up for us. So we're already logged in as our client. We can head over to our dashboard and see a weight snapshot and our macros. And these are what got calculated for us over on Luis's end. We can also see those in a graph form. And basically, this is going to change as your weight fluctuates and as you're trying to hit different goals. But you can always see exactly what you need to do here. Right, and using these macros, your instructor is going to make your meal plan. Now we saw Luis modifying this, and we can see that change was reflected over here. And this is all the same stuff we saw, workout plan, meal plan, everything like that is all communicated to the client. The last thing that we showed you was check-ins. This is your field uh, in order to make that work. And you can see that progress being tracked over here. So you can see your weight, you can see your macros, and basically all the functionality that you need as a client in order to have a successful training experience. But that's all for us for now, and we hope to see you guys at Demo Day so we can talk more about it. Thank you.